Hey there guys, welcome back to the arena. Today we are going to be playing Vega the Watcher. Uh, a blue, a white, and a colorless for a bird spirit that has flying. And whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, draw a card. So we got things that let us a lot of the um, foretell cards. So that way, because foretell is casting it not from our hand. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some things that let me cast out of my, uh, bring things out of my graveyard to cast. So let's go see if we can't get some wins with Vega the Watcher. Coffee is playing a, a Tor brand Thane of Redfell. So um, we play Haka Whispering Raven. Fort <coughs> Fortell or Here comes mono red, here comes mono red, mono red, mono red, mono red, mono red. Here comes mono red, gotta get that win as fast as they can, as they can, as they can, as they can. They got to get that win as fast as they really can. Here comes mono red, mono red, mono red, mono red, mono red. Look at them get their win just as fast as they it can. Oh, this is mono red, mono red, mono red. Oh my God, here they go. We're not gonna, we're just gonna let them through. We'll at least get in for some damage. We're not even gonna give them a good game. Don't be playing Tor Brand Mono Red in Brawl. You can go play Tor Brand Mono Red in the ladder, and it's just as good. You can go play it on the ladder, and it'll get you wins. Take two, let's do take two. Free Mulligan. We got Haka and Alrin. We got Nico Eris. We got Omen of the Sea, Replicating Ring. And we're playing Galia of Sorry, that's <laughs> my mind just like went blank when I just Galia of the Endless Dance. I actually like this card. Uh, yes, we're gonna need both of those, and we're definitely gonna need that. What? Blue White's got to play frickin' aggro deck, man. 
get rid of the... Oh, I played the wrong lands. What do I play? We're just gonna get smashed here. Okay, so we're 0 and 2 because we ran into two aggro decks. Apparently, blue white matches with mono red or red green. V Fury. Okay, so this is a, <laughs> a little bit of a forward deck, but now we got discard. It's a discard. <laughs> a discard deck. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Vega. You're not you're not going to get the most best showing. You're not get not getting the best showing, my friend. Already, look at that. No, we're just not gonna play discard games. might be the shortest video ever since I that's for some reason this deck is hitting the uh, Trihardians today something about Vega brings out the Trihardians <laughs> well, we've beaten a Thassa deck already. A million? Is playing a Thassa deep dwelling deck. I was going to say, don't have a Jawari. Vega the Watcher. They can keep bouncing that. Do you actually play a card? Wind robber. Okay. So that's what they want to use their Thassa on. I 
I actually, the Sublime Epiphany would have been pretty good. Get Thassa off the board. And we'll play a replicant ring. that to at least get that so they don't have an infinite card draw let's see so there's one two three so one two three four five six And we got the win. <laughs> Leveled up. We got the pop quiz card style. We've got, got ourselves a Akum warrior with the uh, Akum teeth from... Zendikar, and then we got ourselves a Strix Haven pack. All right, I think we're going to call it there for this deck. This is going to be one of the uh, shortest videos, uh, but I find this deck actually kind of hard to, to use unless you get a bunch of your four tail cards. Um, so, yeah, this is Vega the Watcher. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave a deck list in the description hopefully you, if you guys play you can let me know how you did with it or what you did to change it up to make it better please let me know um, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button uh, your time means a lot to me and as always we'll see you again real soon